In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the Profile by Variable Slope from Element tool to create different slopes along an edge of pavement relevant to a baseline alignment. So the first thing that I want to do is take a look here at my baseline alignment. And I'm going to go in and open a profile view for that. And in the profile model, you see that I have the surface profile displayed. So I want to quickly create new horizontal geometry for that. And I'll do that using the Profile Complex by VPI. I'm going to make sure I have a element template selected as well as a name. I'm going to lock in my curve length at 50 feet. And I'm just going to quickly place some PIs by snapping to the existing terrain model. Once I have that done, I'm going to go in, I'm going to set that to active. So now I'm going to go in and I want to create a horizontal geometry that's going to represent the edge of pavement. So I'm going to use the command single offset entire element. I do have my feature definition selected up here as road edge of pavement. So I'm going to pick the baseline. I'm going to use an offset of 24 feet. And I'm not going to mirror that. And if I take a look at the profile for that, you'll see that the only thing displayed is the existing terrain. So now I want to go in and using this Profile by Variable Slope tool. I want to create uh, profiles along this alignment in different segments using different criteria. So you can see I have just drawn in some lines here and here. So basically I'm going to use three segments. A segment in here, a segment between these two lines, and a segment from this line to the end. And I'm going to use different types of slopes in each of these areas. So I'm going to use this Profile by Variable Slope from Element tool. And I'm going to make sure that I have my start and end slope and as well as my locks here toggled off. I'm going to make sure I have a valid name here and an element template selected. My slope style is going to be linear. So I'll select Linear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the slope of this 1.5% lower than this baseline. So I'm going to have a cross slope of negative 1.5%. So I'll data click to accept Linear. I'm going to locate the plan element, which is the edge of pavement. I'll locate the baseline. Now I'm going to set the start distance. So I'm going to use the Alt key and I'm going to lock to the start. And now I get to choose the end. So I'm going to snap to this line. Now I'm prompted to select my start slope. So I'm going to use negative 1.5%. My end slope will also be negative 1.5%. No vertical offset, so I'll data click. And you can see that this first portion of the profile has been created. If we were to project the profile of this, you would see that that blue line is going to be just slightly lower. So we'll project that over to this. And you can see that it's offset this. Uh, by a slope of 1.5%. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now we want to do the second section. And let's just do a variable slope in here. And so it'll match up. Uh, we're going to start with negative 1.5%. And we're going to, let's raise it up to positive 1.5%. So the slope style is linear. 
I'll pick, pick the plan element and the baseline. Okay, had a little error here because I forgot to unlock my start. So let me right click to get out of that command and let me unlock my start. So again, I'm going to set the, use the uh, slope style as linear. I'm going to locate the plan element to profile, which is the edge of pavement. I'll locate the reference element. I'm going to select the start. So I'll snap to this. And now I'll locate the end. So I'm going to snap to this line. So I said I'm going to start at negative 1.5% and end at a positive 1.5%. No vertical offset. And if we take a look at that now in profile view, you can see that another segment has been added. It's not showing up here yet, so let's go in and make sure we set that active. And as soon as we do that, it's going to display. So only the active profile is going to display. All right, we just have one more section to do here. So we'll um, uh, do this one again at a constant slope. So let's, we can lock some things in here. So since we were at 1.5%, let's just keep it at that. So we'll have our start set to 1.5% and our end also to 1.5%. We can go ahead and lock the end in because we know we're going to go from this line to the end. And now we continue with the commands. So we can uh, select linear. We'll locate the plan element and the reference element. I'm going to snap here to get that starting point. The end is automatically used, so now I'm going to go straight into my slope. So I'll select 1.5% and again, no vertical offset. And again, if we view the profile for this, you can see that last little bit has been added in. We can set that active and it will display. Now to get them all to display, we simply need to go in and complex the elements. So I'll use the profile complex by elements tool. And let me give this a name. So profile of edge of pavement, right. And I'll select an element template. Okay, now we can begin the command. So I'm going to select the first element and the second and now the third and now you can see if we set that complex element active, the entire element displays in the 3D model.